What's up, guys? Um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I won't lie to you guys, uh, I am honestly really nervous right now. I am freaking out on the inside. Um, <laughs> uh, it's been a hot minute since all that stuff that happened. Um, yeah, um, it's my first time coming back and streaming a game like this or doing a video in general. I'm very nervous. Um, it's so great to see all, you all in the chat again. Yeah, I, God, I can't, I can't speak, sorry, I'm, see, I'm nervous, oh my god, I'm nervous, I, I haven't done this in such a long time, so, oh, okay, so, what's up guys, we're on A9 here, welcome to Fast Bear Entertainment Storage, an amazing FNAF fan game, this, I can easily say, is, probably my favorite FNAF fan game out there. It's just so, like, like the graphics are just amazing. The, it's just really well programmed, and it's overall just a great experience, and I can't stop playing it. Like, usually I play, you know, I play a FNAF game or FNAF fan game, and then I'm like, I don't really play it as much anymore, but this one, I can't stop playing it. It's just incredible. It really is. And the max mode... I can't stop doing the max mode, in other words, all 20 modes. So, this is just a game I decided to uh, stream my channel, because why not? You know, trying to get back into things, get back into gaming, doing stuff with you guys. You know, because it's been a while since I've done that. So, uh, yeah. Memes craft. Okay, I've seen you donate a lot of money before. Where do you get all this money from, man? I need to know because you're you're absolutely crazy with these donations. I've so, I've seen you do it before. <laughs> but oh my god. Wow. Okay. So, I know it shows that I completed the entire game, which I did. Um for some reason, this is not a click team game, right? So I can't figure out, like, how to delete all the data to start over. So I'm just going to play through the entire game like this. I'm going to hit new game and play through the entire game like that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit new game. You guys can see what this game's like. It's really cool. It's honestly really cool. It's like you're in a factory and all the toys are withered, basically. Or scrapped, I guess you could say. So, yeah, let's get into it. Night Uno. By the way, um, a special thanks to Wallog for making that really cool thumbnail. And we're in here. So you have a flashlight here. You got a flashlight here down the hall. You got a vent you can close. You got a panel you can check. If you're hearing this message, I wanted to thank you again Pretty for nice. taking this job. I needed this position filled on very short thanks, notice. Thanks, Roxy. And your application couldn't have been more perfectly timed. My name is Henry, and like I informed you earlier, you will be receiving pre-recorded messages from me whenever you start a new shift. These messages will be used to help guide you through the week, or at least until you get your bearings. The building you're currently in is a storage facility which holds relics from a once popular children's pizzeria chain. The last pizzerias in this chain have been closed for a while now, and most of the objects in this building are even older than that, so this place has gone unwatched for quite some time. Regardless, all the equipment inside the building should still be suitably functional. Now, I'm afraid this job won't be as simple as sitting around in your office and checking cameras. This building houses several decommissioned animatronic animals that once entertained children in those aforementioned pizzerias. Despite all the money that was poured into them, they were scrapped due to perceived malfunctions. I had my gripes about this choice, but regardless, they have been stored here for a while now. Thanks, Cornelius. For most of that time, they've been gathering dust. However, lately, I've been seeing signs of activity inside the building. I have reason to believe that someone has been tampering with the decommissioned animatronics 
and is attempting to reactivate them. Now, I don't think you'll have to worry about encountering whoever has been tampering with the animatronics during your shift. You should be more worried about the animatronics themselves. These animatronics were designed to freely walk around the building and entertain guests. And if someone has been actively tampering with them, it's likely that they'll be walking around the building during your shift. Now, I'm not sure what changes have been made to their AI, and that means I don't know how they'll react to the sight of you. With that in mind, we should prevent them from reaching you. You have a few tools at your disposal to help make it through your shift. You have been provided a camera panel that lets you remotely access all the building's cameras. Use these cameras to keep an eye on the animatronics and ensure none of them are moving. There is a separate set of cameras placed inside the air vents of the building. In your office, to your right, is a building status panel. Toy Freddy you looks freaking terrifying to there. The current status of the building's various systems. Most important is the building's power. Your power supply is limited and is consumed by several systems in the building. Your cameras do not consume additional power as they run on a separate unrestricted supply. Once the building's power supply reaches critical levels, several systems will shut down, such as the building's lights. With this in mind, you have also been provided with a flashlight to help illuminate the dark corners of your office. Your flashlight has its own separate battery, which is obviously unaffected by the building's power. In addition, you have been provided with a mask of one of the pizzeria's mascots. The animatronics in this building were once outfitted with advanced facial recognition software. If they get close enough to see you, you should keep them from recognizing you as human. Now, I'm not sure if the facial recognition is still functional on each of the animatronics, and it's not impossible that the mask won't work on any of them. But regardless, if any of them have their old facial recognition moving fast. still in use, the mask should protect you from them. Assuming the mask doesn't work, you have a few other options to protect yourself. You have an air vent that runs through your office. In the event that something undesirable were to crawl through it, you can close its opening to your office using a button. Keeping this closed does drain power, so don't leave it shut longer than you need to. I know it's a fairly makeshift solution, but I only had so much time to install it before your first shift. Oh. This should it's be Chica. all the information you need for your first night. Remember, your shift ends at 6, and at that point, you are expected to leave. Do not stay any longer than you need to. I'll have another message for you recorded before your next shift. Good luck. End message. Okay. I know I said I completed the whole game, which I did, but let me let me just make a minor correction. Oh, there he is. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that animation. That's sick. The sounds and the animation, the graphics and everything are just phenomenal. Uh, like. That's why this game is my favorite, honestly. Now, I know I said I completed the whole game, which I did, but uh, here's the thing. I didn't complete all the custom night challenges. I did on my laptop, uh, but then I downloaded the game on here, and I just wanted to complete the max mode. I didn't care about doing all the challenges uh, all over again on the computer. Um, uh, but I will do that eventually. I did, like I said, I beat all the challenges on my laptop, but... Not on here, but I did do complete the all 20 mode on this thing uh, more than a few times So uh, yeah, who's moving Chica also? Okay guys when I saw all of them looking at me back there that was a legitimate reaction I have out of all the times I played this game. I have never seen that before. I have never seen that before ever So that's a first Look there's Chica in the bench. She's behind the fan Right as she moved. 6 a.m. I only got attacked once. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I've never seen that screen where they're all staring at you like that. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> Toy Freddy looked freaking terrifying there.
Yeah, also, that's what the Golden Freddy plush, or the Fredbear plush, I should say, means. When you beat all maximum, you get other plushies if you beat all the challenges, too. Also. Congratulations on completing your first shift. However, if I am correct in my assumption that these animatronics are being actively tampered with, I'm afraid your job is likely to increase in difficulty as the week continues. I will do my best to slowly introduce you to your responsibilities here, so as not to overwhelm you. I'd like to take this moment to remind you about the functionality she of this head building backwards power. There? In the event that you encounter a building-wide power outage, do not assume that you are defenseless. Your cameras operate on a separate power supply, and will continue to function even if the building goes dark, although you may not be able to see much. Your flashlight's battery is not tied to any other system and can therefore continue to be used to brighten up your office once the lights shut down. Your mask is, of course, unaffected by a loss of power. However, that does not mean that you should not worry if the building loses power. You will be unable to seal any openings in the building's ventilation system, including the one located in your office, and all currently sealed vents will open. Further, the three main cooling fans located in the vents, which maintain the building's temperature, will immediately shut down, and your office will begin to heat rapidly. Please, keep this in mind. You will receive a more thorough explanation on the cooling fans tomorrow night. Good luck. End message. Can I just say, isn't it really cool that the phone guy is Henry from FNAF 6? Makes sense to me. There's Mangle. Oh jeez, why Bonnie's moving fast? Toy Freddy moves this night. I know. I, I saw someone in the chat saying, "Oh, you'll be uh, you'll be surprised on night six. I've already played the whole game, guys. <laughs> I be I've already played and beaten the entire game, so of course I know what happens on night six. I've beaten all twenty mode, more than once, mind you, because I can't stop playing it. <laughs> Excuse me. There's Chica. Oh. Toy Bonnie's about to get me. He's about to come in right there. Toy Freddy hasn't moved yet. What time is it? 2 a.m. and he hasn't moved yet. I mean, Toy Bonnie is fast as heck, but I guess it makes sense because he's a bunny. <laughs> Chica is moving. She's about to go into that vent. Boy Freddy is very inactive right now. Oh, there he goes. That's just a random ambient sound, guys. Don't worry. That's nothing. <laughs> oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I know why I died there. I, I, I took too long with the mask. My, my bad. My bad. Let's do that again. I gotta not be so distracted. Memes craft, are you serious? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Where do you get all where do you get all that cash, man? <laughs> Let's mute the phone call because we already heard it. I don't understand how you can afford to send that much. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Jump scares are loud in this game, I must say. Yeah, Jollibee's got removed apparently because of uh, a lawsuit or copyright. I can't remember what the issue was, but 
it was based on a real restaurant and someone turned it into like a FNAF horror game which I mean I can under I can kind of understand I'd like not not that it's a good thing I got removed no of course not but like I can understand that the restaurant Jolly Bees um didn't want something like that put out there I guess you could say I could I could kind of understand that oh sh they're definitely moving a lot different than they did before I think Memescraft won the lottery. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> yeah, don't mind that last attempt, guys. Just pretend that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I got distracted. <laughs> I was, I was, um, looking at the chat, and I was looking around the other cameras, and I got distracted by Toy Bonnie. <laughs> Stupid. I got distracted from Toy Bonnie, not by Toy Bonnie. God. I cannot speak today. Jeez, they are, like, turtling along. They're not, like, moving at all right now. Slow pokes. Oh, there's Chica. There goes Chica. And there goes Toy Bonnie. I probably just jinxed it. <laughs> there goes Chica in the vent. We're gonna see that for the first time. Oh, here she comes. What? There she is. Shut it. And she's left. Okay, they have a sound cue for when they leave, which I think is really good. So, yeah. I got this. I know I got this. This game is honestly not very hard. At least not for me. I know it sounds weird I'm saying that, considering I died a minute ago, but that's only because I got distracted. If I was actually paying attention, that would not have happened. So, there you go. <laughs> yes, the toys are withered in here. Also, thanks, Roxy, for another super chat. You hear that laugh, guys? That was Toy Freddy in the hall. If you hear that laugh, it means Toy Freddy's in the hall, and you gotta shine the light on him to make him go away. Oh, Toy Bonnie's about to attack. I'm not gonna get distracted this time. Hi. There we go. Toy Chica is about to climb into that vent again. Toy Bonnie, my homie. Chica, there she is. You can see her behind the fan there, see? Her eyes. Don't get distracted. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oh, here she comes. And she left. And she's there. See, the, that's clever. Like, she actually comes out the other side and she actually appears in that camera. That's honestly... A really nice touch. That's very clever. I like that. 
I, okay, the reason why I knew Toy Bonnie was there, even though I didn't check the light, is because he disappeared from this camera. Oh, Toy's ready. I heard that. It's because Toy Bonnie disappeared from this camera, which is right next to me, right? Um. There we go. So I know that if he disappears from the camera right next to me to my left, then uh, he's about to attack. Well, I mean, he is in my room ready to attack, I should say. So, that's why I knew I had to put on the mask, like, as soon as, as soon as I saw him leave. Night three. Go ahead and beat everything else first attempt. I should have beat night two my first try, but I got, I got distracted. This is not gonna happen again. I believe Mangle is active on this night. I think. And Balloon Boy? I think it's Mangle and Balloon Boy. And geez, Toy Bonnie's already moving. Oh, and Toy Chica. Excellent work these past two nights. That being said, I would like to take this time to warn you about another system listed in your status panel, being the building's temperature. The temperature of the room you're currently in is maintained by three large fans within the ventilation system, which are constantly <laughs> running. If these fans were to in any way malfunction, the building's temperature would begin to heat up rapidly. You are able to seal access to the fans remotely through your camera panel. Sealing vents will not affect the building's temperature. However, having a vent sealed will drain power. The operational status of all three fans are listed on your status panel at all times. Keep this information in mind. I trust that this new information won't be too much for you to handle. I'll have another message for you tomorrow. Good luck. End message. Okay. Here comes Chica. Hello. Nice to see you, not. Jeez, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've heard that sound before. That was weird. Toy Freddy has not moved yet. What time is it? 1 a.m. Oh, he's moved, finally. Okay, cheek is gone. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Boy, Freddy's probably about to come down the hall on my right. Oh, jeez, that's a creepy pose. There they are. Oh, and Toy Bonnie's in the room. Or maybe Means Craft is Mr. Beast. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Balloon Boy is active. I knew it. I remembered. Where's Toy... Yeah, he's back there. Oh. Chica's about to go in the vent again. I thought Mangle... I thought Mangle was... is active on this night. Usually she is. Oh, there... there she goes. There she goes. That's... yeah. What the... Oh, that was Chica. Okay. Mangle was about to climb into that vent. Okay. I need to actually do the proper strategy now, instead of showing everything off. Oh. Chica. Oh. Bang. Oh. Yeah, there she is. Like, she's in the vents now. She's the one that I have to seal off with these. Those things. So I have to be careful about that. Bonnie's about to attack. Oh. Yep, see, he's gone. And he's there now, see? That's how I know. That's how I know. 
So sometimes, if I keep my camera on there, I don't need to check the light, which is a key thing to do in all 20 mode, by the way. It gives you a better idea of things that are going on. Uh-oh. Close off that vent. You can see the vent closed. Oh, balloon boy. Oh, balloon boy, there he is. Good thing though, as you can, as you see, he leaves very quickly. So that's good. Oops, I, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, just check the light. You can, sometimes you check the light just in case, because you never know. Oh, she left quickly. Five a.m. already. Jeez. This night seems to be going by fast. Gosh, there's a lot happening right now. Oh. Hmm. The camera fuzzed, so I knew he was moving. I decided to take a gamble, and I was right. She hasn't left yet. No, she hasn't. Oh, now she has. Oh. Good thing I checked. Oh, hi. Yikes. There we go. The yeah, animatronics give someone coffee. <laughs> and night four. Night 4 is basically the same as Night 3, except more difficult. Oh jeez, Mangle's already on the move, and Toy Chica, the girls! This message will be brief, as it contains no new information relevant to your nightly duties. Rather, I felt I should inform you that my suspicions about the animatronics being tampered with has been confirmed. However, the exact nature of this tampering is unknown to me. What I do know for sure is that they have been acting erratically. I've... I've seen this type of behavior before. That was years ago. Even then I was unable to locate the source. I apologize. I do have an idea of what might be the source of their behavior, but it's not an idea I'm comfortable with. I need you to be watchful for anything unusual tonight. Keep me posted, and good luck. End message. Okay. Hey Mike, Jill's gonna be back in this chat, I bet. <laughs> well... Go ahead and conquer this, shall we? Balloon Boy hasn't moved yet. Mike and Caesar. Oh, Mangles crawled into the vent. That means trouble! Wait, where's Toy Bonnie? Oh, he's still back there? Oh, there's BB. Yep, there he is. Mango moved. Oh no, that was Chica. In that vent. Aw. Oh. See, Chica and Mango have the same sound when they move in the vent. Sometimes it can get confu- Uh, well, not- not usually, but there are times where that can get a tiny bit, like, confusing. You know? How does, it feel to, how does it feel to have the door slammed on you, Chica? Not too good, huh? Oh. There he goes. Angle. Shut that vent door. I highly recommend downloading and playing this game, guys. Like, this game is honestly sick. Yeah, 
Toy Bonnie's on his way. Am I the only one who doesn't like his FNAF AR voice? Please tell me I'm not the only one. I really don't like Toy Bonnie's FNAF AR voice, personally. <laughs> Chica's face got pancaked. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Toy Bonnie is about to attack. Oh, see, he's gone. There he is. Alvin the Chipmunks. Yeah, Toy Bonnie's voice in, in FNAF AR does sound like a chipmunk. Personally, if I do any animations with Toy Bonnie in it, that's not the voice I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Toy Bonnie voice that I use, but maybe more improved, but still. Which, by the way, SFM FNAF animations might come back. I can't guarantee it, but there's a decent chance of it coming back. So, just thought I'd put that out there. She can the vent. Yeah, she is. And Mangle's there. Toy Bonnie's a oh, BB. Toy Bonnie's FNAF AR voice sounds so out of place, right? Right? There she is. Have I used Blender? No, I have not. I've my, Some of my friends do. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect Toy Bonnie to be there that quick. It's a good thing I checked. Okay. Okay, there. Mangle finally moved. Wait, how much power do I have? Ugh. It's not looking great. Okay, some people are mentioning Zany g -Bot in the chat. There's something that I need to explain regarding that. So, you know how I mentioned in my last video that there might be a huge change to Zany g -Mod? Well, uh, after talking with some friends and... Like, after talking with some friends and some people about it, um... Let, I'm gonna be honest, the, his, the history of Zany g -Mod behind the scenes is honestly not good. It's... Kind of quite bad to say the least. I'm not talking about what you guys see on YouTube. I'm talking about what's happened behind the scenes. And uh oh, I heard Toy Freddy at the same time. Shoot, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Anyway, okay, now it's easier for me to talk. Okay, so uh, the history of Zany. I have. I feel bad admitting this, but the history of Zany Gma behind the scenes is not very good. Um. So we all agree that the series needs a fresh start. So here's what's... I can't 100% confirm this, but let me explain um, what's going to happen. So Zany... So let me actually mute this for a second. Okay, so Zany... This, this will sound bad at first, but Zany Gmod is ending, but hold on. But, we're given the series a fresh restart. So here's the different. Here's the difference. The series is still going to have the word zany in the, t in, in, in the title of it. It won't be called zany gmod, though. Yes, gmod will play uh, a huge role in the series. But, the zany series will expand onto some other games, too. Like Gardic Phone, uh, maybe Rocket League, uh, Jackbox, etc. Uh, the series is basically getting a restart and an expansion, basically. So it's going to branch off to other games, too. And if we do like a special episode, like episode 50, episode 100 or something, then we might do multiple games in that same video. Gmod will happen quite, like, quite a bit. Like, don't get me wrong, it, it probably will happen the most, but... Other games will also be a part of the series as well. 
And we're thinking about calling the, the, the series something like Zany Games or Zany Gaming or something like that. So, yeah. It's basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's, this, this series is going to be rebooting. Because Zany Gmod made it through 135 episodes and it went on for five years. That's still pretty darn good, if you ask me. Right? That is still pretty darn good. Now, guys... Don't go saying you won't say you won't see Zany Gmod anymore because technically you will. Like I said, Gmod will be a big focus, and not only that, but the intro is going to look pretty much the same. Pretty much, there'll be some differences in it, but pretty much the intro will be the same. The vibe will be pretty much the same. It's it's more it's more content and more of a fun time for you guys, and also it gives uh, other people a chance to join the series. Like you don't have to have Gmod in order to appear in a Zany video. No, you can. You, you can now appear if you don't have Gmod because other games might be involved too. So, there's that. Right? Um, uh, yeah, before I continue, uh, let, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? So, like, um, the series will be the same. The only difference is that is the slight change of title. And uh, it'll focus on other games too from time to time, basically. Other than that, it'll pretty much... Stay very, very similar. Mike Gamer. So technically, y'all, Gmod will be one of the several different games to see the, well, we have to offer and play. Yeah, basically. Uh, I don't really want to refer to us as the Zany Crew because, um, you know, we're not, you know, a club or, or, or anything like that. It's just... I admit there was a point where it was treated like that, but I don't want to treat it like that anymore. So if you're just in a zany video, you're just in a zany video. But not that that's it. So yeah. Is it going back to episode one? Yes, it will go back to episode one. Just It's a restart, right? It's a reboot, a restart. So of course it's going to go back to episode one. But, you know... 135 episodes of the old series in five years. That's still that's still honestly really good in my opinion. So, yeah. Look in the chat for a bit. Also, hi Rami. We're not a crew, just a bunch of friends playing games together. Exactly, Logan. <laughs> Pardon me, I just burped. Um, yeah, the fail memes and the trigger memes and stuff, they will still be there, but they won't be as overdone, because some people did say that the memes were kind of overdone a little bit, so they will still, they will still be there, though, just not as exaggerated, if that makes sense, so, yeah. Will old friends come back? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty positive they will, mm-hmm. Hey, Diamond Chi. Will I use that intro music again? Um, the, the newer version of the Zany theme is what I'm going to use. Alright, cool. So, uh, I gotta, be, I gotta be right back for a bit, guys. Uh, give me a minute. I gotta take a bathroom break, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna get a drink real quick, and then I'll go on to night five. So, yeah. Be right back.
Okay, first of all, Caesar, shut up. I was not showering. I was taking a bathroom break and getting a drink of water. <laughs> uh, that's how Caesar is, guys. Say hello to Caesar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Night five, guys. The final night before we get into night six. Let's go. Ugh. All right, here we go. Congratulations on making it this far. You have exceeded expectations and proven yourself to be capable. I've decided that there is no point in the continued existence of these animatronics. They are beyond salvaging. It pains me to see them used for such a malicious purpose. And I'm sorry I had not decided to do this sooner. These characters, that once meant so much to me, are now nothing more than a wound that I've allowed to fester. <clears throat> Tomorrow Excuse morning, me. after your shift ends, I will personally come to the building and disassemble them. You are to leave the building at 6. You will return for a final shift tomorrow and ensure there is no further activity from their remains. After that shift, you are not to return. This will be my final message to you. Thank you. End message. Well. Also, Caesar, chill. <laughs> You're being way too random in the chat right now. Come on. <laughs> it's not my behavior. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm just kidding. Uh... Sorry guys, I'm not talking because I'm focused. Because not much room for error now. Oh the puppets! There, he, there she is. Puppet has a really cool mechanic, so you gotta listen for that um creepy sound that you just heard. Uh what side the puppet is on? Uh, you can actually tell because if it's on your left ear, then it's on the left side. Uh, if it's on the right ear, then it's on the right side. Um, and if it's, like, on both ears, then she she's on one of these two cameras. Oh. <clears throat> Enough about smelly hair, guys. Jeez, you guys are weird. Stop. <laughs> and not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, that was right smack in the middle. So. I knew. It, the, it, I heard the sound come from both ears, so it means the puppet was right in the middle of the map. Sorry for clearing my throat a lot, guys. When I went to get a drink of water, uh, some of my water, some of the water, let's just say it didn't go down the esophagus. It went down, you know, a little bit went down my windpipe. Do you guys hate it when that happens? Yeah, that's what happened to me just a minute ago. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but it happened a little bit. Ha, huh, so you finally came to your senses. You guys are weirdos. Just kidding. There we go. <clears throat> All 
I knew BB was gonna be there. Uh oh. Quick sealed event. Okay, jeez. Oof. <clears throat> Mangle is moving very fast. Right side. There she is. I could tell it was on the right side because it came from this ear. Nothing wrong with being weird. I was just kidding, guys. I was just kidding. I know y'all are just being silly. Double whammy. What time is it? 5 a.m. Alright. Um, Alright, I'm going to show you what happens if I don't seal the vent on Mangle. So I'm not going to close it. Show you what happens. I'm not going to close it. Oh. You heard that? Mangle broke the fan. Look. She broke the fan, and when that happens, the temperature starts going up, so you don't want to do that. And how convenient. Right at the end of the night. <laughs> so, yeah. You don't want to do that. <laughs> well, okay. Well, if you do it, like, if it's only one fan and you're, like, and half the night is gone, you should be fine. Just don't let Mango break more than one fan, because if you do that, you could be in trouble. All right. Night six. Things are very different on night six, guys. <laughs> Look at this. No further activity, you say? Well, I beg to differ. Look, they're all decommissioned. That's what you see in the title screen. Look! Red Bear and Spring Bonnie. Even Mangle and BB are gone. Uh oh. Shock you! So, if Red Bear is like banging stuff around in one of the rooms, usually it's either seven. Four, one, or nine. It's always one of those four cameras. Then you go here and you shock the corresponding room. And these things are exactly matched with the cameras. So, yeah. Actually, what am I doing? I don't I actually don't need to check the lights because um, Fredbear will not appear in the vent light and Spring Bonnie will not appear in the hall light. So, I don't need to check the lights. Where's Fredbear at? Uh-oh. Spray Bonnie moves very fast in the vent, as you can tell. There he is. He comes he comes into the vent from the opposite side. That that then Toy Chica does. <clears throat> Ooh, I think Fred Bear's about to come here and... Oh, there he is. Now, you guys hear that noise? It means he's there and you gotta put on the mask. Fred Bear's the only one that can attack you when he's not there, if you know what I mean, in the light. He actually doesn't appear in the light. Oh. Oh, I just missed it! Okay, so you can see Spring Bonnie disabled my camera because I didn't shock him in time. Unfortunate. So, yeah, just like the Withered's, Fredbear does not appear in the light in the vent. 
Just like the Withers in FNAF 2, I should say. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, I got him. Where's Spring Bonnie at? Oh, he's still back there. Okay. This night honestly isn't that hard. <clears throat> Yikes. <laughs> Just felt like it. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Where's Spring Bonnie? Oh, he's probably in there, but I can't see him because the camera's disabled. Oh, he's about to go in the vent. Did you hear that noise, guys? That warns you Spring Bonnie's about to come into the vent. It means he's right there and he's about to go up here. Uh-oh. Camp 4 again, jeez. Fredbear likes whacking stuff in Camp 4. Uh-oh. Good thing about Spring Bonnie is that you can open it right away when he hits the vent door. That's the one good thing about Spring Bonnie. At least when he goes into the vent. But besides going into the vent and disabling the cameras, uh, Spring Bonnie actually has one more mechanic. He actually has another mechanic. Uh, if it, um, if he doesn't do it, if he doesn't, oh, if he doesn't do it uh, during this night, then I'll explain what it is. Oh, you hear that noise? And he's there. You're probably wondering what happened, right? So when you hear that noise, you're actually supposed to keep the camera up because what happened is that he came through here and walked through my office and down into the vent. And that's why he appeared right here afterwards. So if you flip the camera down while he's walking, while he's passing through, you're basically dead. He will see you. So hide behind your camera. Whoa. Cam 4 again. Fribber, what is, why are you obsessed with Cam 4? Where's Spring Bonnie? Oh, he's probably in here. Yep, I knew it. He's about to crawl in the vent. Again. What time is it? 5 a.m. Oh. Oh. Alright. Done with that. Oh. Cam 4 is the same- wait, what's wrong with Cam 4? Fredbear was there whacking stuff, and it, and it said warning, critical damage, or something like that. Like that, see? Now he's in Cam 1. Finally, he chooses something other than Cam 4. Yes! Night 6 is easy if you know what you're doing. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, I made a mistake in the chat. You know what, let's look at the credits. It's worth looking at. Wait, is it gonna show the credits? Yeah. Michael Galiotto. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Michael... You did incredible on this game. Honestly, I can easily say this is my favorite FNAF fan game ever. Like I said at the start of the stream. Jeez, you had so many people involved for beta testing. Holy crap. How do you get that many people? Mr. Potato Head?
Additional model credits. Coolio Art, Frosty, Lettuce Boy, Sc Scott Cawthon. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Scott Cawthon. Thunder. Do you mean Thudner? Because I remember Thudner was the one that made the really accurate, uh, toys. Additional sound effects. Scott Cawthon, of course. Special thanks. Daco was on there. Gunpre, Hackboy, Jono Chrome, Fillmore, Real Funlock. Stole Joe Taste Gaming, Concept Boy, Weddington, and you. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. This means so much. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was weird. <laughs> Where can you download it from? Game Jolt. The link to the game is in the description. Wow! Michael, you really outdone yourself, I must say. Now, if you go to Extras, you can see some more stuff. There's Toy Freddy. Withered Toy Freddy. Withered Toy Bonnie. Looks really cool. Wither Toy Chica, look at this! Holy crap! How is she able to walk? Look at her neck! That's creepy as hell! Mangle, who doesn't look that much different, to be fair. Mangle's already withered. I don't remember there being a hook, though. Withered Balloon Boy, freaking terrifying. Puppet doesn't look much different, just old and withered and a bit cracked. Spring Bonnie with a really long left arm. And Fred Bear, who is not as withered as I thought he would be. Hmm. And jump scares, which we haven't seen yet, except for Toy Bonnie's. So, they both have power on and power off jump scares. And M Mangle and Fred Bear have jump scares for if, if the temperature goes too high. Yeah, the light one is the one we saw before. That honestly sounds like... That almost sounds like a truck... Like a, a truck with a siren going by. <laughs> that sounds like a mix... That, that sounds like a... That sounds like the FNAF 1 jump scare noise is in there. The puppet doesn't really- it doesn't really do a jump scare, it's just a really quick one and then a death screen. That's creepy. Spring Bonnie. That sounds like a lower pitch version than this one. You hear that? <laughs> and then... temperature. Death notes. So look, he takes the Toy Bonnie model and removes stuff from it and makes them all really, really withered. Look at that. Damn. I'm not gonna re- I'm not gonna read all these. If you guys wanna read it yourself, you can. Uh, jeez. He really extended Chica's neck there. Oh my god. <laughs> Chica- okay, Toy Bonnie, what's the- wait. Toy Bonnie was the character that was first in a lot of things. Yep, Toy Chica was second. There's Toy Freddy. I'm assuming that means he was... <gasps> Third, excuse me. Third character. Yep, that's what I thought. Mangle. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is complicated. What's the fourth character? Mangle, Mangle's Riggs has 127 individual joints. How much pain do you think that was to pose? Oh my god. Honestly, I didn't care much about BB. And honestly, who... Who does? <laughs> well, except for our friend Rubbles. <laughs> Shout out to Rubbles. <laughs> um... Puppet. It's not as as withered. Another late addition. Made all too much sense. La he, Puppet was the last character programmed. Uh, it was originally planned to be tattered and torn, but it was a bit excessive. And um, apparently, the puppet um, used to only appear in five in cams five and seven, but. Um, according to the feedback, that made it too easy, so he changed it to where he can appear in- Well, it can appear in any- in any camera. Spring Bonnie... 
Yep. Extended arm. Withered. That's to be expected. <clears throat> Spring Bonnie was created years after the other characters' models. Only being made once the game resumes development after an extended hiatus. Ah, okay. Oh, they were textured in Blender... And they, they, they were textured in Blender Texture Paint. Hmm. Okay. And Fred Bear. The final character model. He initially planned for Fredbear to be more withered, but he ended up keeping him mostly whole, but removing sections of his limbs. Oh, wait. Sorry, I ended up keeping him whole, mostly whole, but removing sections of his limbs made him feel a little too weak to be a threat. That makes sense. Originally, Fredbear would sneak into the office from Cam 7 and forcibly pull down the player's monitor while it was up. Functioned similarly to the FNAF 2 Withered's, where the player only had a short amount of time before they put on the mask. However, this was both jarring and didn't mesh well with existing gameplay, so the mechanic was changed. And you know what? That's fair. Th almost three years. Honestly, very worth it, if I do say so myself. Okay! Here... We... Go. Are you guys ready? For the ultimate challenge in the game? I've beaten this more than a few times before. Can I beat it on stream? We're about to find out. Alright, now, just so you guys know, I am not going to be focusing on the chat, because, um... This, uh, this requires a lot of focus and one wrong move, and you're done for, so... Well, at least you could be done for, so... I'm going to be quiet, I'm going to be mainly focusing on everything that's happening. Uh, so I'm... I'm not going to be talking that much, so... Yeah, sorry about that, but I gotta do that to focus, so <sighs> here we go, guys. Also, one thing to note, it's important to keep your camera on cam 7 so that you know who's about to enter your office, usually Toyvani or Bibi. Yeah, see, they're all there now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Angle took a long time to move there.
was close. No. No. Oh my god. Mango, just go ahead and break break one of the fans. I I can't I can't waste power. It's fine. It's fine. to beat this on stream. That's why I was nervous. Because sometimes when I record or stream, I don't perform as well. So I was- I really wanted to- I really wanted to do this. <coughs> on stream. And I beat pretty much everything first try except for the second night, but that's only because I got distracted. Wow, I did not expect to do that first try. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, key things to know about the strategy. Even if you're in trouble, do not flip down your camera if Spring Bonnie is walking through because you will die. Always keep- well, whenever you can, always keep your camera on cam 7 because then you have a better idea of who is coming into your office. Like, if Toy- you, you know if Toy Bonnie or BB is about to come into your office, don't let them wait there for too long because if, if you do- 
then either Toy Bonnie will kill you, or Fredbear will kill you, or Balloon Boy will come in and basically stuff up uh, the power system. So, wow. Oh yeah, and also, pay attention to where you hear the puppet. Pay attention to where you hear the puppet. If it's on your left ear, then she's on the right. If it's on the right ear... No, what am I saying? No, sorry. If the puppet sound is on the left ear, then she's on the left. If it's on the right ear, she's on the right. And if it, and it's coming from both ears, then she's in either cam 2 or 5, which are the cameras in the middle. Ah. <sighs> Way to go, Superstar. Thanks, Superstar, a.k.a. Ev. <laughs> Ev is a friend of mine in the chat. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh yeah, also another thing. Uh, at around 4 a.m.-ish, um, personally, I would actually let Mangle break one of the fans. Because the temperature is not going to rise that quick. But if she breaks a fan at like 1 a.m., then you're going to be screwed because the temperature is going to be too high at the end of the night. Around 4 a.m., let Mangle break a fan. And the reason why I say that is because sealing the vents takes power. And you can see it was 4 a.m. and I was really low on power. So I let Mangle break the fan so that I wouldn't have to seal the vent and so that I would conserve power, basically. And it paid off. Wow. Alright guys, I'm, that's a perfect way to end the stream. Wow, this was really fun. It was great to see you guys in the chat again. It was amazing. It's good to be back streaming and doing games with you guys. Thank you to everybody who super chatted. Sorry I didn't mention everybody. It's just, you know, focusing on the game and stuff. I couldn't get to everybody, but thank you to everyone who super chatted. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout all this. Just thank you guys so much. I look forward to seeing what you guys think of the new Zany series coming hopefully soonish. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. There's still some things we got to figure out. And, wow. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all to pieces. And never, ever, ever forget to stay Zany. And I hope to see you guys soon once again. Peace out. Have an amazing day. You all are awesome. Can I just say the menu music for this game is really sick as well? I love it. Peace out, say Zany.